Well, one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com, trying to get some stuff finished up, to say the least. And I have got to find some gas. And of course, it's all the way stuffed in the back whenever I need something. And what I need is a, a Lucas bottle. Ooh, or one of these with just the tip cut off. That's what she said. And essentially I'm trying to um, get this car started. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna come up with a solution tomorrow. And for right now, let's just use the big gas can. I can do a controlled pour. Okay, so, 66 Lincoln. Had it too long. Somebody popped in this different motor. Look at that, man. All kinds of dust. Not even been opened. Okay, wow. That's a pretty new carb. Okay. Just a little in both. And I'm sure somebody will say I put too much or not enough or whatever the case may be. I'm sure I screwed it up. But now we don't even know if this thing's getting spark. I'm gonna show you something else in a second. Are you kidding me? This thing freaking runs. Okay, well I'll tell you what. Sounds nice. Hasn't been ran in a while. Can't beat that. I actually, I'm wanting to see what it does here when I shut it off. You know, it's gonna really piss me off if I paid three different mechanics to look at this, and all I had to do was get up under here and turn this fucker up to five. It's really gonna piss me off. This thing runs, man. That does that when you sit in it sometimes. I don't know why. It's all here, man. Let's see what it does now. Are you joking me? For all this time, Trent and Matt and all these other suckers I've hired. Oh, he won't start. It won't run. I even sat out here with him and cranked on it one time, but you know what it was? These suckers had all the wires unhooked. And I was just messing with the thing while I was detailing the motor. I don't know what this is doing. I'm not dumb enough to touch it while it's running either. But they even got bolts on the top of there. I had to hook things up to even get this. So, 
Look at this, it's got a new wiring thing in it going up here. That's probably for this brain here. You know, that's just totally employee type problems. People that are just too dumb to do their job right. And not only too dumb to do their job right, they're too dumb to tell you they're too dumb to do their job. That, it might, I don't care if it hawks or not, it runs. You can call me a hawk all along. Yeah, something like that. Okay, now I'll all be a racist. Yeah, my car likes me, it's honking at me. I don't know why it does that. Honestly, it seems like an alarm type thing. Uh, but I've got about a hundred things. Now, I've had help, too. Uh, now, Nick is not responsible for the non-starting of the Lincoln for two years. But Nate is in the end, because I should have realized that these ding-dongs are doing that. I think that's the idol doing that. Let's see if this guy turns around in his truck. He'd be like, hey, who's honking at me? No. Nice. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna check all the fluids. I didn't run it long enough to get it hot, really. But I'm figuring it has to be low. Something back here. I want to say it sounds like master cylinder-ish. Power booster. Or down there. Not a leak of nothing. Okay. Well, next up. I'll click more in in a second. Right now, I'm honestly just in awe that my truck is running. Um, Nick couldn't figure out. Now, you know what? I had this thing was perfect just a couple weeks ago. Now I've got duct tape around it in two places. And he couldn't figure out why this thing kept going. Well, I thought there was air in it. Well, he was leaving. Let that fly off there and hit you in the nuggies. It's not too cool. This thing's blowing air out. You can't plug that up with duct tape very well. Actually, I've seen some kind of tape you can, but I'm just gonna get this sucker up there. Okay, I'm gonna have to plug that back in, but at the same time, I'm gonna have to see how this thing runs with the hood down to where I can put the boot to it a little bit. And, Lord knows how far I'll want to go forward. So it's time to move the Jeep. Now, if you want a clean Jeep, this is it. Nice Jeep. Of course, it's got some of my work stuff in it. If you've seen my cars that I drive much, I. Fill them up with hats and garage door openers and electronics and charge them with graphic machines and dealer plates and paperwork and... Oh God, you name it. I never figured I'd be driving this. I have pushed this thing around this lot. This makes me mad at everybody I've had working around here. And I can name a dozen names. We call this a a cold shift. I like the way this feels. It's got manure tranny in it and everything. They put the whole drive line. 
It's strong. the coldest of cold starts that I've done here. And I want to say again that I'm completely happy and feel really good about the way this runs. Um, if I could ever remember that the hook is up here. And of course now I've smudged it up a little bit. But man, Seems I'm alarm related because it uh, happens when you get in and sit, slam the door, stuff like that. Gauges down there. Okay, this is, and maybe I can tell what the sound is now. Dude, it's coming from over there. Is there any way that? It's not, wow, the front. The boost demographic is open. Empty though. So I'm gonna do that while I'm here. I can I just totally quit right then. Okay, one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. I've done a walk around, not of this half, but of this half a lot. It's probably a bit more than half. So I'm gonna go in and look at where I ended that and I'm uploading them. I'll hopefully throw some links in here somewhere. And I will be uploading and making a second walk around of that part right now and it'll be at the end of the other one there we go i think stops nice i think runs nice i'm gonna have to get a new video of it right here up in a better area i'm gonna have to do some looking here This thing is cool with the newer motor. Well, oh, look at that. It's an Edelbrock. See the red? It's really a Weber. Edelbrock's just rebadging old Webers. Maybe they're rebuilding them. Who knows? Somebody else does. Not this guy. Thanks for watching. I am totally depressed, pissed off, not happy right now because I've been cost money and leaving this stuff set when it ran fine and shipped. I could have filmed this at any time in the last two years. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Well, there's one for you. It don't seem to have sucked it down in the front one. But it, does, it does in the back one? I don't know. I'm just going to add a little bit to the heck of it. I really think there's plenty in there now, but... see I'm going to get some pressed down stuff and I'll clip more in in a second.